hello everyone thanks again for joining my channel if you're new you're welcome to this channel so today i'm going to clarify and make some more explanation and more detail about my last video that was regarding the indicator for the trading that i i was sharing so we are in trading view now and we were talking about what if we could buy down here and sell on top buy down here sell up here and buy down here and of course sell up here so basically buy low sell high right so we also talked about what indicator i use that makes that buy at the bottom and sell on the top makes it easier and automatic for us right so idea was uh sort of buy low sell high and we are just going to recap the same purpose of that video so let's say we are in the indicator let's search for util bots alert and then we just add it as i mentioned last time you see how indicator showing where to buy and where to sell down there we buy and up here we sell and so on and so forth we go down here there are a few more buy and sell alert but i was just giving you the perfect scenario buy down and then up to sell so these are the indicator i was sharing and some of the viewers were wondering if this is reprint yes it is reprint and it is delayed basically you get the alert slightly because of the reprint minutes based on your depending on your uh, time frame you get the alert a few again two minutes three minutes later depending on what indicate what we don't want to be on the short time frame as you can see the one minute is too short and three minutes was okay but five minutes and 15 minutes was perfect so there we go there is where we buy it and if you see we sold it on top but we bought it in the candles below and this is the area that you can basically take a position if you even missed it let's say there was a five minutes candle that we got the reprint we would be still in a trade after a minute three minutes whatever look at the how, how far we went up for one trade so i'm gonna make sure we have a stop loss as well as the ratio win to risk to reward ratio so that's where you can see how long you stayed in the trade and how it was protected by your stop loss always always use stop loss no matter what because that makes a big difference between a good trader and I should say sloppy and no not disciplined trader. So let's assume we are going to use our uh, risk and reward ratio, right? So there's another indicator that I'm adding. It's called line of regression candles to confirm our position. And as you can see, this is the line that created for us. And the purpose of this line is you get to the trade when the uh, when you cross above the line. Let's uh, let's turn off the actual original candles because we are overlapping with having the other candles on top. Turn off the candles that came originally comes with the chart. We turn it off. And then we can see a better clear candles just from uh, line air regression. As you can see, <clears throat> now we have a better picture of it. But 
one thing I would like to add is there are some settings that you might want to change to make it slightly better which I'm gonna be showing you so let's just make our adjustment let's go adjust our the 11 here and 11 down we're gonna make it the signal to 7 and we leave the bond below 11 because it's it's fine we just want to make a smoothing signal smoothing to seven the rest stays as original and to make it a little bit more visual we turn the line a little thicker to make it stands out as so and there you have it so as you can see now as soon as we see the candle goes above the white line we can take our long position because we are you know switching from sell to buy <clears throat> and we take a position even if it's a reprint you would be still a few minutes behind or i guess late taking position but it's still you're gonna be in a long position a few candles later but the purpose of it is confirmation which we have with this line and look at the amount of you know so you got here long and we're gonna have our risk and reward ratio here your stop loss is all the way below the consolidation line or the one or two previous candle lows once we put your stop loss at least we know when to get out when trade is not in our favor and then we let it run until we get the next signal and look at that you don't even have to calculate you can see the length of the green which is your profit and the red which is your stop loss even visually you can see at least three four times bigger than you lost so <clears throat> this is why i was going to explain it for you guys a little bit in in depth and make sure you guys understand uh there is no really a secret sauce in this as long as you are very disciplined and you taking it seriously when it comes to stop loss a lot of traders lose money when they when they don't react to their you know direction in case it's wrong and then wait until it goes very far down so anyway up top here we get out and look at it even if there is a reprint you still have two candles and you go all the way down yes there are some area that you might take a position because the candle uh reacted it but once you have your stop loss you shouldn't be worried and this is another one beginning here and the candle goes above the line and that's all we do let's turn on that yeah when we turn on the ut uh, but alerts at the same time you can see the the same area that uh the other indicator showed us to get in basically this is the double confirmation so we get the confirmation to get in long or shorts or sell depending on what kind of trader you are but it's actually acting pretty good i use this a lot at least I have a windows next to my trading chart just to get confirmation in case I was wrong and I see if this is showing me to get out or get in sometime I'm late or sometime I'm you know pretty on time but that just gives me second mind or peace of mind to make sure I got in the proper timing and direction so as you can see there are some small movement that you might get little buzzed but 
still if you are disciplined trader and look at this is a one minute candle that's why i don't want i don't like to trade short time frame because it's too many noise and even you know three is okay but still i think five minutes 15 minutes would be with least noise and as i said this is 15 minutes and it's pretty much <clears throat> very good clear direction uh showed to us so that's why i wanted to share this video for those who were skeptical uh not believing and saying this is just a reprint i tested it many times i trade with it reprint or not reprint purpose of this video that i create and i spend a lot of time is to help you guys to become a better trader if you do like this video please go ahead and like this video i appreciate the press the like button and subscribe for my other video that i'm going to share with you guys and as good as this one or maybe better but i'm trying to simplify trading for everybody and if you do like this video like this i appreciate as i said to see you react and like this video also go ahead and try it yourself if you don't believe or if you are skeptical and you still don't think this is a good strategy by all means go and try it yourself use a paper trade you don't have to put your own money just see how it works see if actually if you were in a trade you were uh, a winner or you made a profit or not and this way you don't have to worry about whether you're in a real money trade and you already tested it don't just rely on my words i just like to share and i'm hoping you guys get value from this video and uh see you in my next video and i hope you guys subscribe and share this video with friends whoever you think is useful for it too so i'm sure everybody would like to see that kind of trading and see you guys later and have a wonderful successful trading for everybody thank you guys